Let me check that again. Yeah, actually, everyone is here. I'm not sure what we're waiting for. Um, quickly, introduction maybe for you guys for the map. I mean, if you can call it a map. And excuse me if you're a fan of Bridge, but uh, I have my opinion, you have yours, and I do not think that this map, at, at least this version of Bridge, is a decent match map. Um, basically, it's one straight line from left to right, right to left, north to south, whatever you want to call it. No sound, all plugins are on. Uh, is anyone else having problems? Because that would not be good. I would assume no, because otherwise people would have said it earlier. There we go. Crime fighter says no. Uh, maybe EXO. Try another. Try another browser. Not sure. Anyways, we are actually have people in here, and looks like both teams are now joining their sides with nice ones starting on defense. Um, for them, the only goal really can be to win all the rounds on their side. Because if they don't, then they, it's going to be a very, very uh, tough comeback uh, on Assault, knowing that they have to win rounds on the hard side. A um, little gangbang here going on, it looks like, on the team of Nice One at the start of the round. Let's see, they have a nade and two flashes, I'm assuming all of them do. Yeah, it looks very much like it. And four SPR, I'm assuming they will have... Either one nade and two smokes, like Fiend has, or they will just have four smokes. Although it doesn't look like it, they're all up for the smokes. Up for the smokes. Um, not sure they actually need the nades on assault. To be quite honest, there's only a very few spots you can nade. Uh, I can see it in public servers um, where you just nade people coming up the middle tower, but. If anyone does that on defense here in a match, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, there's ways to do it somewhat securely, but it's more unlikely to actually pull it off. That means uh, we should be only a few seconds away from starting the round for Nice One tonight playing basically the same guys we've seen so far for them. Malax, uh, Nice One obviously himself, uh, Dreek, Lexi, and Critical. Critical, I like that name. Uh, on the other side, our Polish friends from 4SPR have Fiend, Insina, Insane, B Dronka, Ormir, Kurkova, and Critters, or Criters, I guess. I'm gonna call, I think I'm going to call them Criters. And we'll just go with that. Now let's have a look at the quick lineup at the setup of Nice One. They seem to be rather aggressive. Nice One all the way on the right looking at the stairs. We have two guys pushing up. First pillar on the right. Stabbing down the bridge, really. Nothing much going on there. What's one guy running down here? Where did he go? Ah, uh, he's in the building. Whoa! B Drunker gets a. What I can only assume was a spam kill from all the way back there. Wow, what an early lead for his team. Let me just quickly check if he was back here. Because that's the only option that I can see. I don't know, he's probably disappeared right now. Um, let's have a look at 4SPR. Uh, Is they already. No, they didn't push up to middle tower yet. We have a couple guys around here. Let's check out Critus. Oh, one. Let's see. Let's count the, count the guns here for both teams. We got one M14 for Critus. Uh, we got another one. I know I've heard another one somewhere. But that's not one. No, looks like only one M14 right now. That should be Critus. And he's already making it up all the way to Middle Tower, which will be bad news for Malax as he's prone in his tower. He, he really, really has to be careful there. Uh, let's have a look at the first person. Third person, you have two guys up there that he can possibly spot at some point. But it looks like Malax is just laying there and not showing himself, which is probably a very good idea, as he's probably waiting just for his teammates to spot enemies, at which point he's going to peek out quickly and try to get those kills. Uh, that looks like a good setup. Now we have Drax here on the Dreek here on the left, looking at Ormir and possibly Fiend, who's trying to peek, peek him now. Uh, obviously, that's gonna take a while. Going very slowly. Yeah, he gets a couple shots off, but Fiend is not hit yet. He's just trying to empty out Dreek's magazine, which in the current version of the game is not going to be easy or actually impossible if you have a friendly next to you. You can get an unlimited amount of ammo. 
and that means you can just keep spamming the whole time. Get ammo from your friendly and keep spamming again. Uh, probably something they can, they should be should be working on in the future. I'm not sure why you have green screen, Axel. I'm very sorry about that. Nice one gets a kill at Korkova. That must have been on the right side of middle tower. As nice one is all the way back there. 4v4 situation. Um, the early lead not paying off for 4 SPR. Maybe it's ASPR and they just spell it differently. I have no idea. Maybe someone can tell me something about 4 SPR if you know anything. Uh, Ormir just picked up the flag. I'm assuming the guy who had it earlier just dropped it by accident. Um, Drake is not seeing a lot of info here. Let's have a look where the flag is going. Ormir is trying to push through the middle tower. Is same as insane be drunker. Right behind a big... Uh, what do you want to call it? Concrete block. Looks a little bit like the Berlin Wall, really. Uh, and I can say that because I am from Berlin. <laughs> they kind of look like it at some, at least in some areas. So here we go, Berlin Wall, all, all reinvented on America's army proving grounds, um, dividing the east and west. Actually, it is east and west of the bridge itself. I'm gonna drink to that. Uh, look at Insane Bidranka here, uh, pushing up to two of the guys. They're right behind the tower. One is below the tower inside. That would be Lexi, and one is on the left. That should probably be nice one himself. Uh, he's in a little bit of a trouble here because he's gonna have a tough time coming, going away. However, his nade hits. Oh, sweet! Well done from Drake, shooting Bidranka. Malak's taking down Fiend. There were two nade kills for a nice one at that point, leaving up everything to Criders with his uh, SPR. I wanted to say with his M14. Um, uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. You can see he's being spotted already from a top left window and just a matter of time until he's being taken out. Almost got the kill there on Malax, who stays uh, alive and takes his second kill of the round. Uh, despite the very early kill there from Bidranka, nothing else really happened and a uh, nice one could get their first very, very solid defense round. I believe that kill was on critical. Let's have a look where he's going this time. I wonder... No. I was wondering if he was standing back here and spamming and just got counter spammed. But clearly that did not happen. And I will definitely pay more attention now to where he's actually going. Uh, looks like... He's actually making his way all the way back there. The problem is... What is he doing? Okay, he's going to extract from his team. But he can't... Can you actually fall in that hole? That would be funny. Oh, look at that, guys. What a fantastic spot. You can actually stand up here and look down there and probably spam to the right of the middle tower. That is very interesting. Thank you for showing me that spot. And now everyone else in the world. Very nice. He's actually up there right now. Let's have a look. If he can see anyone. That would be really, really cool. Yeah, <laughs> pain exit. Uh, yeah, we have a new community website and I'm going to show it to you either at halftime or after the match maybe. Um, and you can obviously go there as well. Yonks just posted the link, almost the link, uh, aao-daily.com. It will be uh, very competitive, competition driven. We have a lot of admins for Europe as well as for EU, uh, for NA at the moment. Critical is just spamming down. Oh, he's actually almost hitting. Oh, wait, Ormi is all the way in this tower. Never mind. Uh, I'm not sure they know that uh, Kratos is already at the top of Middle Tower again. So, that is potentially bad news for a nice one. But the way they're set up, they're looking to be very, very defensive on their positions. Which, what is he doing? He's just spamming everywhere a little bit of a saw. Probably trying to get the suppression down so the other team is in, in unable to get any aimed shots on top of them on top of them into their heads on top of their feet I don't know um, here we go let's keep looking at Bidranka it doesn't look like anyone is gonna go to the left so that spam is not gonna happen smoke coming out and again we are reaching the Berlin Wall Bidranka made throwing nades over the wall oh my god back in the days you would have been killed for that just throwing just stuff over the wall not a good idea back then, however, we are in America's Army Proving Ground, so you can definitely do that. And you will be fine. You will not be executed on the spot. Except, of course, if someone sh sees you and shoots you. That could happen. 
Um, now they're pretty far moved up already. They have three minutes left. It's a ton of time trying to get a nade in the window, which is not going to hit because he's not even, not actually even hitting the window. Dreek gets a kill on Fiend. That must have been from the top stairs or windows. Yes, Ray, I am from Berlin. Uh, well, I haven't lived in a long time, but I was born in Berlin and lived there for more than 20 years. Ich bin ein Berliner. Anyways, now look at Critical. He's in this interesting spot all the way back there, which I really enjoy. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, Lexi just peeking out, trying to get an 8 kill on the right. There's no one there. Throw it to the other side and you win. Uh, you gotta watch out for Ormi. Ormi gets an 8 kill on nice one on the left and Lexi runs away. That's a smart move. And now it's a lot up to Critical, who's in the perfect spot back here. I think those kind of spots should be eliminated from the game as well. These cracks, there's nothing you can... You can see it. Why is he shooting him? I'm not sure he had an easy kill there. Lexi gets a kill on Ormi, but Malax goes down. And now Lexi goes way aggressive, takes down B Drunker, but also gets the kill. And 2-0. Uh, he was the last guy alive. I guess it was alright. But yeah, 2-0 for defense. Just as expected. The map is very, very defense-sided. And if you don't play let's say if you don't play stupid on defense, you really, really should be winning every single round. And we still have this whole part back here of the map that hasn't even been used yet, which you can just camp in in the very back, and there's really nothing the other team can do about it. Um, so, yeah, about that. No, I'm not in Berlin anymore. I, I used to be living there until I started studying in Wiesbaden, which is near Frankfurt in Germany, for everyone who is not familiar with German uh, cities and everything. And then I came to the United States about five years ago to work, and I'm currently in Washington, D.C. Well, in Rockville, Maryland, but that's close to D.C. All right, next round. Let's see. Let's go to the other side, actually. Start with 4 SPR and see where they are spamming. Uh, they're running pretty aggressive already. Fiend is getting lots of shots around him. It sounds pretty cool. And... He's making up the metal tower. He's gonna run into Dreek, most likely, who has been on the metal stair so far. Oh, nice one is pushing up. That could be very bad news if he actually gets up there. Um, not doing that so far. I think he's just gonna be sitting here for sound. No, he's throwing a nade. Oh, that could be very, very deadly, that nade. Oh, and he, <laughs> he gets the kill on Fiend. Well done. Now he just has to have his retreat covered. The smoke from the other team actually helps him with that. And on top of that, he has uh, critical spamming all the way from back there. So, well done, nice one. Uh, and that is an early kill for his team, making it even easier on defense to win this round. Greek still again, top of metal stairs. It's a very easy spot to hold and very, very hard to, to attack. Uh, you basically gotta have a very lucky lean shot right from down there. The problem is, if you sit down here, do that quickly before we see more kills happening. If you sit down here and try to lean shot him, you have to go all the way out here and that exposes yourself all the way to the metal stairs on the right, which is a big problem. Here, Coco are moving up. He already made it to the defense tower now. That's a much quicker approach. They kind of learned that... How is he not getting up there? There we go. Um, let's have a look. I'm just reading the chat, guys. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 3v5 situation. 4SPR has to get some really sick shots right now in order to win this round. I think it's more about trying to figure out how to breach, how to actually get into the tower. That would be an advancement already. I haven't done that yet. And they should probably not get rid of their nades that early in the round. Two guys at the window right above Kokowa. He's probably hearing them. If, he's, if he throws the smoke a little further to the right under the tower, he can get inside and maybe cause some trouble. Right now, it looks like Critical is just going to take his head off in a second. If he just peeks around it just a little bit further. Malax, however, got a kill. No, wait. Malax... Yeah, Malax got a kill. That's right. Two guys alive only for... For SPR. Doesn't look like anything big is going to happen here. Uh, let's look at B Drunker if we can. No, we can't. Critical is not looking to the left, however. There we go. Nope. So, back to B Drunker. He might get a kill up here. Ah, uh, they're very defensive. The smoke is not very well thrown either. He's just sitting in the smoke. Malax gets an easy kill on Korkova. And that is definitely the round. 2% left. They know where he is. And nice one flanks around from the back. 3 to 0. Uh, 3 kills so far for Bidronka. So the only guy actually getting killed, except Ormi, I just said one, uh, is the one with the M14. Maybe they should take a few more. I'm not sure. I haven't actually checked the scopes yet. I'm not sure if everyone is using an ACOG. But it very much looks like it. 
Yep, ACOG all around the border here. Lexi.